Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to XCOM The Long War, Beta 14. Okay, we're going to continue where we left off, which means we have this abduction mission to handle. But before that, we're going to do a couple housekeeping things. One, we're going to take a look at the facilities. Now, unfortunately, because of the Steam uh, locations that I had in this run, it's a little bit messier than I'd like it to be. But my rough plan is to put perhaps an Alarium generator here. And then get rid of this thermo generator and then put another, uh, maybe a satellite nexus right here. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Then I could delete this satellite uplink, put another nexus in here at some point, and then I would have my cluster. So I think that's what I'll move towards doing. Uh, and then the, the other things like hyperwave relay and whatnot could go along the bottom down here. Otherwise, the layout is, is fine. My labs have good synergy. Likewise, so do my workshop, so I really don't have any problem with that. Um, I think otherwise it looks pretty solid. Now let's take a look here. We have 18 hours. We've got Diane training for Cypanic. I Hopefully that goes through. I need to. I really need to tear up the um, the ranks on the on the psionics because I'm I'm going to get closer and closer here to you know sort of towards the end game. But I I, I need to get you know, a quote-unquote volunteer. I need to get someone ranked all the way up. So hopefully some of these are successful. Um, again, I haven't modified any of the settings, so, you know, <laughs> if I ultimately end up losing the campaign because of the RNG related to psionics, well, then I guess so be it. Let's take a look at available officer promotions. I still have one billet open, which I'm saving for Vampire. And Vampire, where are you? Where are you, Vampire? Uh, where the hell are you? Oh, there you are. Still not eligible, or can't do it while you're in Genetics Lab, one or the other. Speaking of Genetics Lab, let's take a look here. We have a couple spots open, so, hmm. Also, what do you need? Adaptive Bone Marrow wouldn't be bad. Confirm? Seven days? Hmm. What about Jack? Jack's pretty much got everything already. Unless I gave him iron skin. How much? Or how long? Ten days. Woo! I don't really want anybody to be out for ten days. Tristy doesn't have secondary heart? What? Okay, let's fix that. And hyperreactive pupils. 13 days. Alright. Go ahead and send her. Okay, Kwame, he's all done for now. Oh, Diesel doesn't have anything, huh? Okay, let's... Let's do... Secondary heart and adaptive bone marrow. 17 days, huh? All right, Excellent. send him. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you. And then how much is it for another suit? Other mech to defender, huh? Shoosh. Crazy. Well, I'm using them all right now, so I can't, so. But, let's see here. What do we have? Starting off on our left, we have Spitfire going as our Valkyrie mech. Mech 2 Defender, Laser Lance, Grenade Launcher, Flamethrower, Alloy Belt, and Hollow Targeter. The thought process being that if she doesn't kill it, at least she's going to put Hollow Targeting on more than one target, right? Paint it for... A Jaeger mech, Polaris. Back to Defender, Pulse Lance, Flamethrower, Grenade Launcher, Alloy Belt, and Weapon Gyro. Then to help us with some uh, cover destruction, we've got Cody Perry coming as our Shogun mech. So, Laser Lance, Flamethrower, Alloy Belt, and Auto Loader. You know, I think with Cody, I'll end up taking Heat Ammo and then maybe making a Railgun. Yeah. I was thinking about that as sort of like a anti-mech mech. 
<laughs> Say that ten times real fast. Okay, we're bringing Headhunter as our sniper. Carapace armor and alloy plating. Pulse sniper rifle, laser pistol. I'm giving him the cognitive enhancer again for the plus 20% uh, percent experience. I'm really trying to rank him up uh, to Master Sergeant level so that I can uh, finally have a proper in the zone sniper. Sergius is coming as our commanding officer for this one and our scout. Aegis armor, a pulse rifle. Let's see, double set of flashbangs, chem grenades, and then the illuminator gun sight. Plus 10 aim, plus 10 crit, and it provides executioner perk, which works pretty nicely with his his current buildup. So he's got hollow targeting, he's got lone wolf, low profile, tactical sense, smoke and mirrors, and then in the zone. So he can flank out to the side and, uh, you know, finish up targets. So I thought that would be nice to add in the Executioner perk for that, right? Because essentially his job is to sweep up after uh, damaged targets, so he'll get the uh, additional uh, bonuses for doing so because he'll have less than 50% health. Okay, our Rocketeer, Christine Kohler, a.k.a. Brick, Aegis Armor, Pulse Rifle. I really need to make a Sten Gun or something if I'm not already. I need a even a Carbine, something, um, <laughs> to help with mobility on Rocketeers. Spare rocket, scope, and a laser sight as well. Double stacking just to try to maximize uh, her to hit. Because uh, remember, as of beta 14, um, even if I had like a laser rifle with an inherent bonus, that does not go towards the rocket. However, scope and laser sight do stack in terms of bonuses. So this plus 15 uh, does stack for purposes of launching the rocket. Uh, speaking of... Rocketeers. So I do have a private run that I'm doing on Impossible Iron Man, and I have to say, Fire in the Hole has got to be the one of the most transformative perks uh, in Long War because obviously I couldn't pick that uh, with this, you know, with this soldier because I or any of my uh, Rocketeers in this campaign, uh, unless they were unless I created new ones. But in the impossible run that I'm doing, I was able to pick Fire in the Hole at a very early level, and it's really made the Rocketeers worthwhile. I actually enjoy using them now because I can actually hit something with the with the uh, the Rocketeer, uh, you know, reliably. Go figure. So, yeah, kind of changing my stance a little bit on Rocketeers in terms of their long-term viability in a campaign. All right. So that having said, or having said that, one of those two. <laughs> Here's Zang going as our assault. Titan Armor, Scatter Blaster, Laser Pistol, Shredder Ammo, Impact Vest, and Neural Gun Link. Not so much really for the to hit, obviously, but the extra crit, I figure, why not? I guess I could just as easily give him a scope, for that matter. Yeah, I have the Foundry up. Yeah, I have the Foundry perk, so... I guess just use scope. Then he doesn't have to take the will hit. Let's see, uh, and then last but not least, we have Maria, aka Gypsy, Titan Armor, Pulse Rifle, Laser Pistol Sidearm, Double Set of Med Kits, and then one Ghost Grenade. And what's her build out? She has combat drugs as well, okay. Smoke Grenade, combat drugs, alright. One last look. Alright, let's do it. I think we've got three days left. I didn't look at the fighters, but I think it's either three or four days for um, our next Firestorm to get done being constructed, so looking forward to that. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. We're still seeing dozens... Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is Wasn't I just on this map? I was just on this map. Strike one has All right. For well... The game likes this map for me, uh, apparently. I'm alright with that. Okay, let's post up right here with the sniper. And let's spread out with the mechs. Where's our tank? Yes, mech. 
That's gonna be our Valkyrie. Okay, so Sarah, you hang out right there. Cody, you can swing out kind of behind her. Elena's got partial squad size, so she can hang out a couple squares behind them. Yep. Okay, Sergius. And hang out in front of him. He has low profile and inherently high defense. Yeah, so he's got 65 defense posted up right there. Yeah, because I think he's got a 10 natural defense, which shouldn't be possible, but it is because he was a carryover from beta 13. So he's got 10 natural defense, plus he's got full cover because of low profile. Simpra, Badillans, so he's got plus 5 defense when in cover. And then... Whatever. Spirit to core. So he's got another plus five. It's pretty nice. I was thinking about making the, the chameleon suit, actually, for scouts that improves uh, not just uh, improves defense. Something like improves defense by seven and then also improves the performance of lightning reflexes. I was thinking about giving that a whirl. Because it is kind of unfortunate when you go to use lightning reflexes and then there's like multiple overwatches and you're like, oh no, is my scout going to live? It's always kind of a stressful moment in Long War. Maybe unnecessarily so if I build that piece of equipment. Let's put Zang. He can just sort of hang out in the middle, doesn't matter. And behind cover over here. Overwatch. Steady weapon. And we will overwatch. Something mechanical. Is there gonna be a sectopod again? I could kinda do without a sectopod. Just just really, really between me and you and the fence post, I would be okay without a sectopod. Oh, okay. Mutons. Hi guys. Ooh, that's kind of a big boy right there. Hi. Hmm. Do I want to engage? Uh. Not really, actually. I could do something like this. Targeting defensive position. Destroy his cover. Right? Uh, destroy his cover? Yeah, it looks like I did. Let's move Zang over here. I have an enemy in sight. Well, of course. Well, at least it's Seekers. That's not too bad. Come on, guys. Hi. Okay, let's see. How do we want to do this? Alright, let's move over. Doesn't really change my plan any. The plan was to kill the guy on the roof with the sniper, and then withdraw my mech, forcing the mutons to come forward. So that's not changed. Let's see, can we hit all these guys? Maybe? Actually, hold on. Do we have a rocketeer with us? Yeah! Hello! How about we shred the crap out of these guys, and then we drop a grenade on them? Oh, I like that plan. What do you think, guys? And gals? Come on, stabilize. Rockets away. That should be pretty good damage, actually. Nice! Very nice. Okay, now, for some more pyrotechnic action. Grenade. Well, that was a little lackluster, I guess, but... 
Let's see. Sergius should be able to go to town on some of these. Yeah. And that's one. I'm about to start keeping score. Two. He's down. Go, go, Sergius Power. That's three. <laughs> Just in case you couldn't count on your own, I thought I'd help you out. Let's see. Um. Okay, we'll reload in a second here. 60% chance to hit, huh? Hey, let's take that sh... Well, hold on. Buying partial cover back here. Those mutons are going to move up. You know what? Let's drop combat drugs right now. There's no reason to save that smoke grenade. Give us a little bit of extra defense. And we'll take the shot with 90% chance to crit. Nice! Like it! And then we can use this shot over here. Good hit. So we didn't quite clear the board, but hey, that wasn't too shabby, right? Not bad. Okay, we'll reload, and then we'll still do what we plan to do, which is withdraw our Valkyrie mech. You gonna fire on him? Okay. Yeah, I think that's a sectopod that I'm hearing. That's my suspicion. Haha, -ha, you missed! Okay, these guys have no cover? Really? Okay. Okay, when they do stuff like that, you gotta wonder, like, why are you rushing towards a car that's gonna explode? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that logic, but whatevs. Silly mutons. Okay, who do we want to fire on? Maybe this guy? Sure. All right, that's one dead guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here, let's hollow target this one. Well, maybe we kill him. Oh, we did. Great. Mm, can I get a shot on something with my medic? No. All right, well, she could just reload then, I guess. Cody, 31% chance to hit. Hmm. Okay, Cody, go. Moving out. Go right here, please. Mm hmm. And turn into cover. cover at my go ahead and reload. And let's swing out here with the sniper. 59, 79. Okay, let's go for that. 11 crit. Oh, you got robbed, man. It's okay. Surge just will clean up for you. Just gotta move him. Yes, Commander. There we go. Pop that guy. Nice. 12 crit. Wow. Okay. And... Yeah, let's move down here and get a flank. Nice. Actually, let's reload. 
Slide over here. Steady weapon. And do I want to go in for this kill? I, I do, but that's a little bit more risk than I really want to take. So I think what I'll do is I'll just... Hmm. Maybe try to mind frame him? Sure, let's try to mind frame him. Nice. Yeah, I'm a little concerned if I had run up and then not been in cover and then there's like a sectopod sitting here ready to eat my face off or something. That would have been bad. And things seem to be going fairly well, so I really didn't want to risk it for no reason. Hey, where are you going, dude? Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? Sneaky guy. Okay, well, we need some eyes on, so Sergius, that's your job, buddy. On the move. Let's see if Cody can't uh, open things up for us a little bit here. Let's see. Oh, what do we got? Exposed target. Mm -hmm. All right, well, destroy this guy's cover. I really like collateral damage as an ability. Pretty handy. System malfunction. Yeah, that is not supposed to happen in beta 15. So that's a change I am looking forward to. So if you're really far away from a chariot and there's essentially absolutely zero risk to you from a muton, you're not going to be intimidated like that any longer. Yeah, that that's a welcome that's a welcome change. Because it's silly. It doesn't make any sense at all. Go ahead and reload. Mm. Sergius can't get a shot, huh? Alright. Neither can Zang. What about Polaris? Be able to get a shot from somewhere. Here, maybe? And Sectopod. I knew it. Okay, well, we're going to have to back off. I'm not fighting that thing right now. Yeah, and it's got eyes on. Oh, that's not good. Okay, wait, hold on. Sergius, you can trigger that. On the move. Yeah, or not. Okay. <laughs> I should be able to retreat straight back, though, without incurring its wrath. So let's do that. Hunker down. Okay, we'll move Sarah over. And reload. Uh -huh. And then... Hmm. This is a little tricky here. I'm gonna move up just in case I need to push forward to use that ghost grenade. I don't necessarily want to move my medic up like that, but I think it's probably the best bet. And then, hmm. I'll just continue to steady weapon back here with the Rocketeer. So kind of a dead round for us, but better to set up the next one than, than to try to push a bad positioning there. Yeah, I know they have you flanked. Take it easy. You're all right. Incoming over here. Question is, will the sectopod move this turn or not? Oh, yep. Yeah, it will, I guess. Hi there. Please don't hit anyone. Or if you do, not for much damage. Yeah, good. Missed. Newton's running away, huh? All right. Okay, let's see. First things first. We have javelin rockets. Are we in range? We are. Okay. So, javelin rocket? Or regular rocket? I think yes. Hello. 
Nice. What did we hit with that? Was that a seeker? Drone? Can't say that I'm entirely sure. Alright, we've got to trigger the overwatch, so... Do it this way so we'll still be able to fire. Yep. Risky since I'm not dashing, but be all right. Oh, <laughs> as I get hit for 10. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about with the whole maybe I need a chameleon suit thing I was talking about earlier. That was painful. Jeez. Seriously, that was rough. Alright, let's take this shot. Three damage, huh? Yeah, this is when not having uh, gunners with you is a problem. Six damage, okay. Hmm. I... Ooh, I don't know here. Give this a little bit of thought. I move over here. Uh-huh, like so. Grab Zhang. He does have Shredder. I equip Shredder ammo. I'm almost positive. Okay, so run and gun. Location confirmed. Sixteen crit shredded. Yeah, that's right. Twenty six. You like it? <laughs> okay. Feeling better about our chances now. I should have done that in a little bit different order. That way I could have finished off all these drones, but it's okay. I could have used Sergius for it, but it's fine. I'm not going to complain. You could make the argument that Sergius doesn't need the experience and therefore would have been a waste. Yeah, that's the story I'm sticking with. I did get a little nervous there for a second, though. No, I'm not going to lie about that. I did. Did indeed. Uh, let's go for this guy here. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that uh, um, you know, crit spec assault that I use, which actually is was I mean I, the first person I've ever seen build it, and therefore the reason I refer to it that way is my friend and mentor Marbazir. So I I use his build for most of my assaults. Uh, and you couple that with, um, you couple that with, uh, Shredder ammo for the first shot. Holy moly, man. That second shot, crit for 26? That's nasty. Just nasty. I have seen worse. So other than Sergius getting beat all to hell, so far so good with this mission. Okay, let's see. Coding... Got enough for collateral damage? You do, huh? Okay. Let's see if we can get you in range to use it, then. Right here? Yep. Not exposed, huh? All right. Let's take a shot here. All the targeting up. Mm-hmm. And reload. Nice. 
Nice. Good hit. Yep. And... You need to get healed up, actually, don't you? Yeah, you do. Seven crit. Uh, and Frey, no. It's not going to get it done. Do I want to move up? I don't see any reason not to. Let's just move up. Five, huh? All right. Go ahead and kill the drone, I guess. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna pull back. When I get some heals and reloads next turn, then we'll finish off the mutants. You, know you just steady weapon. And you move up over here. Seeker? Yep. Hi! Oh. Getting aggressive there, huh? Okay. Well, if you're gonna come close like that, I guess, uh, we'll barbecue you? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Alright, let's see. Zang. Go ahead and dash over here. To get you a heal. There we go. Better. And let's grab Sergius as well. Maybe unnecessary at this point, but I don't see any reason to not. Just take the precaution here. Ninety-one percent, one hundred percent. Okay. Can you get rid of that? No. Well, how about with your second shot? There we go, good. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, and then... Flamethrower? Yeah, I do flamethrower. I don't necessarily want him to run, though. Can I soften him up with... Sniper rifle first, or we'll just kill him. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> He's very softened up. Uh, do you have close combat specialist? No. And neither do you. Okay. Well, flamethrower it is then. Well, how about I do this then? I will move behind you? And flamethrower you this way? There we go. And then now you're in the path of the other people as well as another flamethrower shot. Hold on, let's take this shot first. 47? Sure, what the hell. New no. Whiff. There we go, another flamethrower. He's a pretty beefy squad leader, actually. Okay, and then... I'd like him to get the kill, if I can. Can we make that happen? I think so. We'll just drop our grenade right here. There we go. That should make it pretty simple. And that's a kill. Mission accomplished. 
Awesome! 18 aliens. Sergius did get lit up like a Christmas tree, but... I mean, come on, it was on a reaction shot from a sectopod. What am I supposed to do? 24 days. Oh, certainly could have been worse. Alright, got a promotion for Cody. Good. And... Heat Warheads. Yeah, I don't care about Heat Warheads so much. Heat Ammo is kind of what I was thinking. So, I am going to take Shock Absorbent Armor. Yeah, Shock Absorbent Armor. Let's take a look here. Eh, that was a nice little mission. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I'll see you later.